Oh, I've never held a goat before. Oh! Man, you guys, welcome back to another episode. Things are getting weird in the mountains today. We're on our way to do a secret mission. I've got a surprise for you. You can see there's some weird stuff going on in the back of the truck there. I had to build a contraption. Uh, I can't tell you exactly what it's for yet. Uh, if you follow me on Instagram, you probably already know what's happening. And we're going fishing today too. I've got a really good plan uh, for us for a catch and cook. We're going up towards the Canadian border to do this. A country and fishing adventure. <laughs> and I'm glad that you're here uh, with me to do this. I, I don't know if I could do this by myself. I yeah, I truly enjoy sharing all these adventures with you. Oh man, here we go. I just had to stop here and show you this. Look at how many mailboxes are right here. <laughs> I have never seen that many mailboxes in my entire life. There's no reception anywhere for the last half hour in this valley. We're, we're out there. This is one of the most remote places probably in the country. So that's probably what happens is this is as far as the post office will go. They'll deliver everything, all the mail to here, and then people can drive down from wherever they live up in the mountains <laughs> to come up and get their mail. That's absolutely crazy. Man, there's even more on this side here. Double stack of mailboxes. Welcome to the country, boys and girls. All right, here we go. Not gonna lie, a little nervous. <laughs> oh, man. What a magical place. Little sip of some water. Ooh, sparkly. All right. Well, thanks for having me here, guys. Come on. Well, hello, you guys. Some of them are friendly. Some of them are like, eh, yeah, I'm not really into people right now. If you work with them and are good to, you know, treat them and stuff, you know, with treats and stuff, they actually will start coming to you. As long as they're comfortable. Yeah. Otherwise, I'd, you know, do two rides or have one in yeah. the back seat or something like that. Or, it, I mean, if they were like in my back seat, if I flip up the seats and stuff, do they just kind of chill back there? Are they going to try and climb on top of me or? Uh, it depends. They're both about a year, year and a half old. Yep. Oh man, you guys. Oh man, a little nervous. Man, I can barely put on my gloves. I'm, I'm shaking a little bit. Oh, this is so weird, like filming in front of a bunch of other people. Not going to lie at all. So I built this crate here in the back of the truck uh, to make it easy to transport uh, these goats here. This guy here is nice and big so that they've got lots of space in here. Put a solid top on so that they don't uh, get hit by the sun. They can get some shade and don't get hit by the wind too bad either. <laughs> oh, look at the little guy. All right. Should I have got a little bit of hay? Should I just throw some of that in there so they can kind of... Why don't I see if they want some? Yeah, I mean, just to keep them busy a little bit. <laughs> Here you go, you two. I know, let's get you some food. <laughs> My goodness. Don't worry, we'll get you guys home quickly. Thank you. Of course, guys, of course. Have a good day. Oh, you too. Thank you, guys. All right, let's just go ahead and get down the road here a little bit. <laughs> Sorry, my brain's like, just, uh, I need to like have a little. Whew. All right, all right, cool. Whew. Just found a little spot here. Uh, we're gonna check on the goats real quick. Oh man, oh man, they're making noise back there. Oh my good. Oh, see, this is why we had to pull over. I, jeez. 
See, I can't even think right now, guys. This is just so much going on. I forgot to close the tailgate, but I just want to make sure that everything here is nice and tight. Oh my goodness, hello, you guys. Hello, we're bringing you to your new home. I just want to make sure they're as comfortable as possible back here. They've got a bunch of uh, some fresh hay uh, back there just to keep their minds off of the ride. It's luckily a really short uh, ride back to the mountain farm. Uh, so they should be just fine. It's an overcast day. I chose today just because it's a little bit cooler. Uh, I don't, didn't want it to be too hot, uh, hot back here. Oh my goodness. All right, let's go ahead and get back to the mountain farm. I'm not going to film anything anymore. I just want to focus on driving um, nice and gentle. Um, just so that it's nice and smooth and get those guys uh, home quickly. And uh, I'll see you guys back at the farm. All right, we're back at the mountain farm. Let's do this. All right, let's go ahead and get into the pasture over here. Man, look at all of this luscious green grass for them. Oh, they're going to be so happy in here. Hi, you guys. Hey. Hey, we got some new friends for you guys. We got some new friends. But you guys know you got to stay in here. There's a little too much going on. I'll let you guys out a little bit later. Okay, moment of truth, goats going into their run. I'm sweating, guys, sorry, I haven't been like saying a whole lot, documenting anything. My priority right now is just to get these guys out of the crate, in there, then we'll sit down, take a breather, and we'll talk about what just happened. Hi, you guys. Okay, just block this off completely. Hi, beautiful, oh my goodness. I'll get the water out of your guys' way. Come on, little guy. Let's come up. Come on. There we go. Oh, oh, geez. Oh, I've never held a goat before. Oh, I know, I know, I know. I know. Welcome to the mountains, baby. I know. Come on. Come on. There we go. There we go. Let's go. Everyone, go, 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 go. Go, go, go. <laughs> Oh man, look at them. All right, we're just gonna give them plenty of space. Uh, I'm just gonna freshen up their water, set up some hay for them. That way they can just chill. All they need right now is to relax. Oh, they're already eating. Okay, never mind. They're already pretty chill. Eating my, my grass in there right away. That's awesome though. That is such a good sign that uh, they're not super distressed. Here you guys, here. All right, that stuff's right there for them to enjoy. Man, you guys, it has been a couple of weeks now since getting those goats. And I realize it's also been a long time since getting out a new episode to you guys. So I do just right away want to apologize uh, for that. I've missed you guys. There's been a lot of stuff happening here at the mountain farm and I can't wait to get you guys all caught up. We're gonna go crawdad fishing tonight. That's something that you guys have been asking for in the comments a lot. We're gonna try a lake where I've never caught crawdads before, but I saw a couple. So we're just waiting for the sun to set because that's when they come out. 
<laughs> hey, how are you doing? Hi, gorgeous. Hi. So as you guys can tell, the farm has turned into an absolute zoo. <laughs> I'm, being, I'm being mobbed by, by the chickens. Uh, there's more chickens right down here. Oh, the ducks and the guineas are in the tall grass. It's kind of like a Jurassic Park scene. Let me see if we can find one of the guineas. <laughs> oh, the guineas are just so funny. All right, where did the goats go? Oh my goodness, here they are. <laughs> so this is one of the things that has kept me really, really busy uh, out here at the farm is working with these goats. Uh, as you guys saw when I got them, they were very, very shy at first. Now this little guy right here with the uh, bell around his neck, uh, he's probably like the most friendly out of all of them. They're all very nice goats. They all have their own personalities. He also loves being rubbed right there behind his horns, between the horns and the ear. It's a real tough spot for goats to get to. He just stopped chewing. He's like paralyzed because it feels so good. Oh buddy, I know. It's very slow progress with them every day. I'm still learning how the whole thing works, uh, but I did just need to take uh, some time to prioritize uh, them, getting to know them. It is the first time for me having goats. Oh, and I totally forgot to tell you guys, I'm building a pond uh, out here at the mountain farm. It's just a small first pond. A lot of you guys in the comments have said to build a giant trout pond, but here's the deal. I've never built a pond before. So this one here is just an experiment, just one to learn on. All I've done so far is dig the hole, put in a felt liner to protect the actual pond uh, liner, brought in some rocks and some big logs and some sand. And the idea is to make this pond look as natural as possible. I want it to be like a mountain lake pond is kind of the theme that I'm going for. But what we're gonna do is finish that pond uh, tomorrow morning. Tonight we're going crawdad fishing. I've been working on that pond way too much uh, this last week. So you guys can see things are busy. I think we're pretty much almost caught up. This here is uh, the cornfield. It's looking really, really good. The way I'm growing everything now is I'm using drip uh, irrigation. So you've just got a main tube going out and then smaller lines that go out to these little mini sprinklers. So I've got a little bit more space right here to grow some things. I'll probably put in like some pumpkins or squashes. Right here I've got some tomato plants going, two little plants right there for some cherry tomatoes. All right, so let me just go ahead and feed the chickens real quick, put them all away, get the goats back in their pen, and uh, then we're gonna get our gear ready and head up to the lake here once it gets dark to catch some crawdads. All right, so we arrived at the lake. It's just the one right behind the mountain farm. Uh, we're gonna go down there with a net and nothing else and hand catch us some food. I've got like this tow stuff here. There was like someone stuck and I had to like tow them out. They completely buried their truck. It's pretty much midnight. So I guess that's when all the weird stuff happens. All right, let's get down to the water. Oh man. Totally forgot the net. Old dirty coffee mug. Oh, and it's not even dirty. Perfect. Let's just use this. Here we go. Oh, there's something in the bushes. There's something in there. Oh, oh, there's fish in there too. Right there. I don't know if you guys can see that, but there's a fish just kind of chilling. It's like there, uh, there's several. There's another one over there. Oh, and another one right there. There's just fish between the cracks here everywhere. And they're just kind of hiding out. I think they sp they're spending the night here. It's probably safer right here at shore than it would be out there in the dark. All right, but fish is not what we're after. Oh, wow. There's a big, like a crappie or something like that right there. This is another little fish right here. There's so many fish right here between the rocks. I wonder if maybe we can like catch one with our hands. Oh. Oh, 
Oh, almost had I touched them both. Man, well, I might be able to catch a fish with my bare hands here. How awesome would that be? Oh, do you see the fish right there? Man, look at that. There's just so many fish. One, two, three, four, five, six. Ooh, there's a good one. Got him. Got him. There we go. Crawdad, baby. We got one. Nice one, too. This one here is not a giant, but it's a keeper, and it's going to be delicious. I haven't had crawdads in forever, guys. Man, the lighting is just absolutely <laughs> terrible. I'm tired, too. It's, guys, it's like midnight. It's almost 1 in the morning or something. And here we are catching these little monsters. Put on the headlamp without the crawdad pinching me in the head. Man, they look like they have red eyes. <laughs> this one right here looks like it's a signal crayfish. That's our native uh, one right here. We just want to make sure that there's no eggs uh, right underneath here. That's where they would be holding eggs. Uh, if there were any, we'd let it go. But this one here is a keeper. No eggs. So we're going to eat them. There we go, in the Starbucks cup, <laughs> he goes. There's another one right down here. They're very sensitive to the light. He sees us. Now he's hiding. There we go, got him, got him, got him, got him. Little tiny guy. <laughs> Look at this. Oh, geez. All right, let's let him go. <laughs> oh, man, he's a little flapper. Ooh, ooh, good one, good one, good one. Got him. There we go. Only one uh, one pincer on this guy here. Look at that. How did you lose your other one, buddy? Oh, geez, snapped at us. <laughs> uh, awesome. No eggs on this one here. It's another keeper. In the jar you go with your buddy. <laughs> All right. There's a little cricket right here somewhere. You guys hear him? Oh, what is that? Is that a bass? I think that's a largemouth bass hanging out down here. Got him. Got him. Got him. That's a bass right there. Largemouth bass. <laughs> awesome. Awesome. Bass. Bass catch. You guys can't tell me that I don't go bass fishing. Oh, 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 there we go, there we go. Another fish, another fish. What is that, a little tiny, tiny little bluegill. Look at that little guy. All right, let's let him go. <laughs> there he goes. Oh man, and there's just another one. Just hanging out right here. <laughs> I gotta stop messing with these little fish. Ooh, ooh, there's a crawdad right there. Oh, oh, he got away, he was just a little guy anyways. seeing little crawdads everywhere there between the rocks just their little glowing eyes is what keeps giving them away guys my GoPro just died but there is a giant giant crawdad right down here oh, he's super far down oh yeah he's so big he's not even afraid of uh, the stick here Kind of got away though. Oh, what's that? Oh my goodness, it's a trout. It's a trout. Trout catch and cook, baby. Trout catch and cook, come on. Oh no, 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 he's swimming away. No, come back, it's a brown trout. Oh, it was a nice brown trout. No. Oh, guys, I'm filming with my phone. It's so hard to do one-handed. We could have grabbed a brown trout. That would, oh, man, that would have been sweet. Close to keeper. Very close to keeper. But this little one here is going to be lucky. <laughs> Monster. 
monster. Oh, he's munching on something. Got him pinned. All right. You guys see him right there? I'm going to have to put down the phone and grab this guy. Uh, I need both hands for this this job right here or he'll get away. That's a that's a giant. Oh, oh he slipped. Oh, he slipped out from me. No. Like PB Crawdad. Oh. Here's a good one. Good one right up here by the rocks. Got him. Got that one. Nice. Solid. Check this out though. This one here actually has not just eggs, but those look like actual baby crawdads. I mean, I didn't know that crawdads hang out with their, their parents just like scorpions do or something. So we're just gonna gently place this little guy right back exactly where we found her. There we go. <laughs> you have a great night. That might be a keeper down there. Oh, ah, got away. Oh, there was another one that got away. Dang. Guys, I gotta bring a trap up here. It's very tricky catching these guys here by hand. They're very skittish. There's a decent one right here. Might be one from earlier. Oh, no, 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 no. All right, got him pinned down. All right, got that one. Got him. Beautiful, no eggs. That's a good size crawd hat right there. Nice. In the cup you go. Good morning, guys. <laughs> We're gonna head down to the pond and finish that sucker up. Oh, the goats are getting into the chicken feed. <gasps> oh, naughty, naughty goats. Naughty goats. You're not supposed to be eating that. Like, get out of here. Get out of here. Oh, I know, those mean goats ate all your food. Yeah, I know, you boys were very nice. It's your sisters that are very naughty over there. I don't know, is that a thing? Do girls get in more trouble than boys? Uh, I've always heard the opposite, but with goats, you never know. All right, we're back down to continue working on the pond. And no, no, the crawdads, they're, they're not actually still in this coffee cup. Instead, I've got them down here in a bag just to keep them fresh in the pond and we'll have those guys for lunch today. Sprinkler got us.
All right, the last finishing touches are done. I drained uh, the entire pond, just pumped all the dirty uh, water out there into the pasture. That way the grass has some nice uh, mucky water to feed on full of nutrients. And then the animals get the fresh water again after it's replaced to drink. There's only one thing left to do. Let's go ahead and plug in the little waterfall. There we go. Oh, here we go, here we go. A little bit of a stream going, look at that. Looks like a mountain stream we fly fished in the last video. Oh my goodness. We've got, we've got a little mountain stream in our own backyard. Look at that. It's perfect. The waterfall seems to be working exactly how I wanted it to. All right, you guys know that leaves us with only one more thing to do. We're gonna cook up those crawdads right here at the mountain pond. <laughs> oh man, it turned out so sweet. I know that this is definitely gonna be a place where I'll just be able to come down, sit with a chair, relax with the animals, and just watch uh, the insects and all kinds of other wildlife come down for a drink. Who knows, maybe we'll get some frogs or snakes uh, that'll show up. I'll definitely keep you guys updated on this pond in future episodes. All right, let's see how these little guys are doing here in the crawdad bag. Oh man, they are, they are lively. Very, very lively. <laughs> Look at these guys. Oh man, fresh crawdads, boys and girls. Look at that. <laughs> oh, how cool would that be to have crawdads in the pond? Let me know in the comments if we should stock this pond uh, with any fish or crawdads. And remember, this is just the first pond that I'm building up at the mountain farm. I've never built a pond before, so I just wanted to learn on a small one, but the plan really is down on the large pasture uh, to build a big trout pond. It's gonna be a big challenge. Oh no, a crawdad got away. Oh no, 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 no. Oh my goodness. Now he's hiding there under the rock. Oh no. Get back out. Oh, there we go. There we go, I had to catch him again. All right, we're gonna do a good old fashioned crawfish boil. Uh, for that, we're just gonna throw a little bit of butter into the pot here first, and we're just gonna slice in a little bit of onion. Ooh, man, that cleaver is sharp. <laughs> this is awesome. <laughs> also got just a little bit of garlic uh, that we're gonna mince up and throw in there as well. And then we got a little bit of our Danish sea salt. It's the only seasoning that we're gonna throw in there. Ooh, man, almost out of it too. Ain't gotta be shy at all. All right, these babies here are beautifully caramelized. All we're gonna need now is just a little bit of water to make the soup. And I think we'll just kind of skim off a little bit of some clean water there at the surface and just drink our pond water. There we go. Man, this is definitely one of the weirder things I think I've ever done. <laughs> and I'm glad that you're like here joining me. Oh man, look at that. That is a beautiful, perfect boil. It's time for the crawdads to go in. All right, what I always try and do is dump them in head first. That way it puts them to sleep right away. All right, there we go, steam them. Oh no, the ducks found the pond. Oh, they're coming, they're coming. <laughs> oh, it could turn into a total disaster here in a second. I wonder what they're gonna think about it. Don't worry, you guys, I built this pond for you. Oh, the gu are the guineas gonna jump in? Oh, the guineas like it. They really like it. <laughs> All right, things have gotten absolutely crazy down here at the mountain pond. The goats came down here and joined for a little snack. I'm just shooting the thumbnail right now. So they found the pond. Oh my goodness. Look, they know, they know, they know the pond is here. So let's eat these crawdads real fast before the, the ducks jump here and mess everything up. Oh my God, three goat heads in one bucket. <laughs> there you go. 
Look at the belly on this one though. Oh my goodness. Let's take a look at this delicious meal that we've got. Those crawdads look fantastic. They are beautifully red. Just look at those guys right there. Let's go ahead and try one out right away. Mm. Oh. oh, the flavor of that broth that we made, the butter, onion, garlic broth. We're gonna twist the tail off. Ooh, a bunch of guts came out there with them. Oh man, do we suck the head? <laughs> I don't know, <laughs> that's not my favorite part. Maybe we can feed that to the chickens or something. Crack that tail open. We're just gonna pull the poop out of the back. Don't wanna eat that, but that is a beautiful little crawdad tail. We're gonna dunk it in our broth here. Oh, dude. Well, that's one of the best crawdads I've ever had. Not fishy or weird at all. They're very, very pleasant, almost kind of like a sweet flavor. Number two. Soak that one again. Oh yeah, she likes the crawdad, oh yeah. Do you want any more of this? Oh, oh, she grabbed a whole crawdad head. You enjoy that crawdad. Do you want a crawdad? <laughs> she, 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 oh, she wants the meat. She wants the meat. No, you're getting the head. <laughs> I'm gonna take that last tail, throw it in there, mix it up with the broth, and just take a nice bite of that tail with the onions and garlic. That's good. I think we gotta do that again. We gotta catch some more crawdads uh, next time, like with a trout. Let's do that. Let's go to a mountain lake where you catch some trout and we're gonna try and catch some crawdads. I'll bring a trap along and then maybe we can catch some more because man, those three crawdads were just a tease. I'm gonna want a lot more than that. I tell you what, we're gonna give those ducks a little bit of space and see if the ducks wanna jump into the pond. All right, guys, I'm just packing everything up. That's all I got for you in this one. I'm just gonna hang out uh, with the animals now, but we'll see you uh, all very soon up in the mountains. Uh, again, I'm gonna head up there uh, to do some trout fishing. So of course, subscribe if you guys are still brand new. Drop a like on the video, it helps a, a ton, and leave a comment. I'll see all you guys, of course, in the comment section and very soon for the next fishing adventure. And until then, you all know it, fish on, baby. Look who decided to jump into the pond.